What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. If things all worked out correctly in my editing and had enough time to do all this, this video should be coming out on the first reset day of Dragonflight. This episode will be a brief explanation of the new crafting work order system and how you can make use of it. Crafting professions have seen big changes in Dragonflight, having far more depth and complexity than ever before. There are specializations, skill trees, and sub-specializations that will dictate exactly what you'll be proficient at crafting or to give extra perks to your crafting skill in general. However, a big draw of crafting is the ever-powerful desire for wealth and riches via digital gold, silver, and copper coins. That's where the auction house normally comes into play, but what if you're just a miner, herbalist, or skinner and you want some of these new cool armor and profession things? Well, you can't exactly just craft it if you don't have the appropriate profession, so this is why crafting orders have come into existence. You can now take reagents you have gathered on your character and see if someone on your realm or server, however you want to word it, will make what you're looking for. First, I'll show you where the main crafting order hub is in Valdraken, our new capital city for the expansion. You should see it pretty quickly as it's overlooking the Artisan's Market, which is where basically all of the crafting profession people are, but if you need more help finding it, then any of the city guards can point you to the Crafting Order's NPC. Once there, you can open up the Crafting Order interface by interacting with one of the NPCs. This will give you a breakdown of all the things that you may place a Crafting Order for, and they're represented kind of similar to how the Auction House works. For our example item, let's just say I wanted a piece of leather armor, like the Pioneer's Leather Wrist Guards. By searching through the armor and then the leather tab, I can scroll down and find the item that I want made for me. You'll then be brought to the request page. This page has a lot going on, so we'll start going from left to right. On the left, you'll see we have Provide Reagents and Provide Optional Reagents. You'll also see that this recipe requires resilient leather and adamant scales to craft, as well as the quantity of each needed. On the optional reagents, we'll talk about the training matrix first. These are items that allow a piece of gear to be crafted up to an increased item level based on what quality level of training matrix you provide to the crafter. The box below it is the secondary stat choices. These are missives made by players with the inscription profession and are what allow you to determine the secondary stats on the gear being made. If this isn't provided, the gear will have a random secondary stat so it's always a good idea to make sure you know what stats your class or spec uses and to provide the missive appropriate. On the right, we have a drop-down menu showing either public or personal orders. We'll go in more depth with this in a moment, but for now just know that a public work order means that anyone on the realm that searches for a work order to complete will see this on their available work orders. Below that, we have a note to the crafter, which is generally something to leave out of courtesy to whomever decides to pick out your request and fulfill it. Next is the commission fee, which you can think of as the good old tip system that you've likely seen mages in trade chats selling portals for, or rogues opening lockboxes for modest surcharges. This is where the market can dictate how much or how little you should tip someone for making your gear, and will likely vary wildly from server to server. I'm on the beta so I can't really give a good example of this because the only one that's up there is another order I put up but the tiny little hammer next to this commission opens all similar work orders being requested, which can be used to give you a rough idea of what others are willing to pay for their items being made. You can also choose the duration that your work order request will be active. This can be 12 hours, 24, or 48. Once all that's filled out, you can place an order and see if anyone fulfills it. There is also a posting fee every time you put out a request. Now, any leather workers on the realm can pick up this request and complete it, and when that happens, I will receive my item in the mail. However, let's say I know someone, whether it be a friend, a guildmate, or even one of my other characters on the same server, and they happen to be able to make what I need. If you swap to personal order, the UI will look mostly the same, however, you can now send the request directly to the person you want, and no one else will see it pop up. This also gives the added benefit of choosing whether you do or do not provide the reagents necessary to craft the item, by clicking off these check marks next to the leather and scales. You will need to provide the training matrix to give an increased item level to a piece of gear. Missives, on the other hand, can be provided by the crafter. You can also choose the minimum quality level of the resulting gear being made when it is a personal order, so you can ensure you're getting exactly what you're looking for. This is a very, very handy trick if you're working on professions across multiple characters since you can just make stuff for yourself. There is a bit of a catch though, and that shows up when you want to have someone craft something that's better in Dragonflight, like Epic Gear. 
These will require bind on pickup reagents, such as Primal Chaos or Sparks of Ingenuity, and these have to be provided by the player requesting the work order. Now that covers how to place work orders, but how do you complete one or even know that there are any active? Well, you need to go to a profession crafting station appropriate to that profession. These are usually right next to your profession trainer and can be interacted with to bring up the crafting order panel. They usually look like really cool tables and they have like, you know, machinery and tools on them that are appropriate and they'll usually say like it's a blacksmith's table or a tinkerer's table or, you know, stuff like that. For the public work orders, you can simply click the search button in the upper left corner and it will show all currently available requests. Do note that you can only complete 30 public work orders a day, which you can track in the upper right corner of the work order UI. If an order has less than 2 hours remaining before it expires though, this 30 a day rule is removed, at least that's how it is according to testing as of now. There is no limit to the number of personal orders you can have either, so that's another trick to be mindful of. That should cover most of the basics of the crafting order system. It will take some getting used to, and having to go to a crafting station specific to your profession is definitely something I'm gonna forget to do for at least the first week or two until it becomes more second nature. I hope this brief look into how the work order system, well, works, and it's useful to you folks. If so, please consider leaving a like or a comment, as they're quite helpful as they make the channel and videos more recommended to more people. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, patrons over on Patreon, and Twitch subs. You folks all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.